If you're seeing this error in Chrome or this error in Safari, you've come to the right place. So what causes DNS to fail and show this error? It can happen for several reasons such as this. Okay guys, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions to perform all five methods first on Chrome and then on your Windows or Mac device. Flush the DNS cache. The DNS cache keeps all the IP addresses of the websites a client previously visited on the computer. Some IP addresses in the DNS cache may be outdated, leaving the computer unable to find the right website. Now, I'll show you how to flush the DNS cache for Chrome. Enter this text into the Chrome address bar. Then click clear host cache. Now go ahead and check if the DNS error is gone. Okay, now before we try the next fix, this is not an ad, but since you do work with websites, I have something really cool to share with you. Just five seconds. Don't skip it. Don't, don't skip it. I built a free speed plugin where you can paste your URL and get 90% speed scores and you can try it here. Release and renew the IP address. It can troubleshoot network connection issues by giving up the lease to your computer's old IP address and requesting a new one. Number one, how to release and renew IP address in Windows. Open the command prompt, right click and select run as administrator. Then go here and type ipconfig slash release, then click enter. Once the prompt returns, type ipconfig slash renew and click enter again. And after that, reset the Windows socket interface by typing the following command. Then click enter once more. And now you can restart the computer to check if the error is gone. Number two, how to release and renew IP addresses in macOS. Go to the system preferences and then network. Select your current internet connection and click on the advanced button. Navigate to the TCP IP tab and click renew DHCP release. Press OK. Restart the computer and check if the error message still persists. If you are still seeing an error message, not to worry, just try the next method. Number three, change the DNS servers. How to change DNS servers in Google Chrome. Enter this text on the address bar to access the Chrome DNS settings. Scroll down to the advanced section and select with custom. Users can change it to one of the built-in DNS server addresses from Cloudflare, OpenDS, Clean Browsing or Google. Check if the error code has disappeared. If the error code has still not disappeared, don't feel disheartened, hang in there, try the next method. How to change DNS servers in Windows. So go to network and internet settings, select network and sharing center and change adapter settings. Click your connection and select properties. Double click internet protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses. Under the preferred DNS server, enter 8888. Then under the alternate DNS server, enter 8844. Click OK to confirm changes. Restart the browser and see if the method resolves the Chrome error. How to change DNS servers in macOS? First, open system preferences and go to network. Pick your current local area connection, hit the advanced button, navigate to the DNS tab, press the plus button and type in the new IP4 or IP6 DNS servers. Type in each address one by one, then press OK. Open the browser to see if the error code has disappeared. Restart the DNS client service. This is a method available only for Windows users. Basically, the DNS client service is supposed to run automatically when you start the computer. In case it doesn't, it will make the browser unable to access any website. Simply open up the command prompt by pressing the Windows logo key and R. Then type services MSC and hit enter. Scroll down to DNS client, right click on it and select restart. If the restart option is grayed out for you, as it was for us, an alternative way is to do this via the command prompt. Open up the command prompt by pressing the Windows logo key and R, then type command and hit enter. Then enter the following commands. Depending on the version of Windows you're running, you might get an error like this. If you're running into this error, we suggest trying the other methods mentioned in this video because solving this is quite complicated. If none of the other methods in this video work, you can check the link in description once again to try this method for resolving this error. Check and change the local host file. The local host file matches a domain name to its IP address. Computers refer to it every time you open a website so that they can fetch the correct page to display on the browser. In some cases, the host's file may have unknowingly marked a specific domain name or IP address as inaccessible. How to check and edit host file on Windows? In the search box, type notepad and select run as administrator. Navigate to file, open. Change the file filter from text documents to all files. Enter the path below in the file name bar. Select the host's file and open it. The file will show a list of blacklisted websites below the last line using the hash symbol. If the domain name and IP address of the target websites are there, 
remove them and save changes. Visit the previously blocked websites to check if the DNS error has gone. How to check and edit host file on Mac? Open the terminal application. Enter the command shown here, then insert your password. You'll be redirected to the hosts file. Delete the websites listed below this line. Remove the inaccessible sites information and then press command plus O to override the hosts file. Hit return to confirm the changes. Then open the formerly blacklisted sites and see if the DNS error has been resolved. If you're stuck anywhere, comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. Hit that subscribe button if I was able to help you. It makes our team really happy. I'll sign off now. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.